All right. Oh, hello. So I thought what could be fun is to show a way to be able to utilize Whisper in combination with GPT to be able to very quickly and easily take recordings that you've made uh, and put on some sort of recorder like this, but then very automatically convert that into highly polished text that's available on your computer. So that's really what all this is about. Uh, it kind of arose through uh, work that I had done before where I would record a lot of things onto a recorder and then I would kind of plug it into my computer and then I would try to use that in some form or fashion for drafting replies to emails, uh, getting other thoughts together on papers I'm reviewing, et cetera, et cetera. And so what this is, is a way to be able to do that a whole lot quicker. And so the the main, I'd say the main things that make this system pretty cool are for one, <clears throat> It uses something called auto hotkey. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with it, auto hotkey basically gives you control over your full computer. And so you can open up certain windows, you can launch certain commands, you can click in certain places, and you can sleep your computer for a certain amount of time. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, and so the idea is that to the extent that you know, once you finish recording, and then you plug this into your computer through the the USB over here, if you can see that, then as long as you know the directory that the file is saved to, you can basically have auto hotkey kick in and take it from there, you know, where it can basically first uh, launch Whisper, convert the audio into uh, text files, taking advantage of all that Whisper has to offer in terms of its goodness, and then combine those text files together, throw it into GPT, and take advantage of uh, all the cleanup that the GPT can do in terms of pulling things together. So I thought it'd be um, kind of a fun way to show how all this works by just creating a, a simple, um, simple example of it. So again, all I did is press record. So I don't know if you can see that, but I'm now recording myself uh, through this recorder. And I'll typically record one file, but it could be that you're on the go, you read some other emails, you want to dictate something else. So you stop, but then you have to start again. So imagine that I stop this over here and then I start it up again. So now I'm recording a second file. <clears throat> so again, there could be one, there could be, there could be six. And what's going to happen is once I plug this into the, uh, the USB over here, then all of those will be uh, essentially MP3 files that are available in a certain directory. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this right now, open this up, plug it into my computer, just like so. Now, <clears throat> when I come over here and just scroll on down, you can see the recorder over here and in this file, in this folder, all of my audio files are recorded. So again, it's just in this directory. And so I said, well, wouldn't it be cool to be able to just automatically run this thing? And so I created this auto hotkey script where if I just press minus transcribe, then it's going to execute a series of commands, three of them, uh, with these little you know, periods of pause in between just to make sure that uh, the system doesn't get ahead of itself. And the first step is basically to take those files and to run Whisper on that directory. So let me just show you quickly what I'm looking at over here. So I'm gonna share my screen. Here we go. So this is the auto hotkey script. This is the main command. So again, first uh, function that I created is called do whisper. It functions on a certain directory. So if you have a different directory on your computer that pulls up, you can easily change that over here. The directory that everything saves to on my computer is this right over here. So you can see this is the same directory that, uh, that I put over here. Again, we can very easily uh, make that a function as well. <clears throat> and so what this is going to do is it's going to open File Explorer, it's going to navigate to that directory, and then it's going to 
run this uh, function called execute whisper command. You may wonder, well, what the heck is that? <laughs> um, so there's this video. Let me just pull it up over here. All right. It is history. This one over here. So I don't know if anyone has seen this video before, but it was great. Uh, I love Kevin uh, Stratford. And it basically walks you through a series of steps that can allow you to install Whisper onto your computer. And so what, what you can do is basically follow those commands, uh, get Whisper onto your computer. And then after that, uh, all you have to do is uh, essentially go to this folder, type command, and then you can esper, uh, you can enter a whisper command over here. And that's basically what this is going to do. So <clears throat> this runs whisper. It sends the output back into that same folder that the audio files were in. And that's basically what the first thing does. So <clears throat> I don't know if you can see right over here. There's kind of just one other aspect that it takes a little bit of time for the for Whisper to run. And so what it's gonna do is it's gonna say, well, there's two MP3 files uh, in that folder right now. I know that when Whisper is complete, then we have two text files in there representing the transcriptions. And so it's gonna wait until those text files have been created. And so it's just gonna keep on looping every five seconds, it's gonna check, do I have the two files now? Do I have the two files now? And then once those two files are done, then it's gonna stop. And then it moves on to step number two. So step number two is uh, to take the text files of the transcriptions and put them into one file. This is just so that you don't have to uh, run GPT multiple times. So it's gonna create this one merged text file, sleep again, and then it's going to run the third function. And what the third function does, which is right over here, is it's going to take that merged file with all the text in it, and then it's going to uh, essentially go into GPT, <clears throat> and it's going to first copy this instruction text. So over here, you can see what I had put. Again, you could put your own instruction test, but it basically says, take the text below and clean it up, address any typos, grammar issues, paragraph structure. So don't change anything. Don't make it all fancy. Don't fundamentally change it. Just leave it as it is, but clean up all the, the junk. And yeah, you know, I give it some names that are often uh, basically misunderstood uh, through speech to text because, uh, because of, you know, uh, because of spelling issues. So get that together, create a full text where it first puts the instruction text up at the top and then it includes all of the uh, merged transcribed output right after that. <clears throat> and then open up Chrome, go to the uh, GPT window and, uh, and send that command in. So again, I'm gonna just close this over here I've got this window open. And so let's just uh, basically put this in action. So again, I'm assuming that you have some base level of understanding of how to use AutoHotKey. It's a very simple program. You just install it. You open up a, a notepad file. You create these commands. I can uh, make them accessible to you. You save it as a .ahk file, and then you uh, you execute it. And so, um, yeah, I've I've already loaded um, loaded Auto Hotkey onto the computer, so it's going to work now. So let me see. I'm just going to open up a Notepad file right over here, and I am going to put <clears throat> transcribe. So it's opening the file. It's running command. Whisper is starting to work and it is done. It created the merged file. 
I hope. Let's see. So if we just go back over here. Yep, you can see these were the individual transcriptions. I started up again. So now I'm recording the second file. <laughs> so the merged file, again, is the combination of the two. And I just kind of space it out. I add some code in the auto hotkey to make the, the separation between the two files visually salient. <clears throat> and then it opened up GPT, copied in the text, and here it is. And you can see over here, for example, the original raw text had said, so what I'm going to do is stop. And down over here, it says, so what I'm going to do is stop. <laughs> so it kind of corrects for cool things like that. So again, just thought that was a uh, a pretty neat way of being able to very quickly record things and then with one simple command get a really good what i found to be kind of best in class uh, transcription now note that in the code that i will share um, this is using the the small model for whisper you could use the medium model or the large model uh, and in truth i think you probably would be best served using medium uh, but what I found is that if you have very long transcriptions, let's say that you're uh, recording, you know, 50 minutes of audio, then it could take a while for medium to run. So uh, small can uh, can be a good compromise solution. Um, and I personally haven't found small to be all that problematic. And especially if you're going to be throwing this through GPT as a final step afterwards, then all the better. So again, I think this is just... Uh, a microcosm of the sort of things that we're going to be able to do going forward. Now, what I'd love to be able to do, and if anyone has any uh, thoughts or feedback or input about this, is to be able to give it um, basically access to a whole bunch of my email. And maybe I'm going to do this in a temporary chat, but to the extent that all those other emails are accessible as references, you could just imagine that the GPT step could be that much more effective if you're using this for uh, email drafting or making sure that people's spelling of names is correct. So hope you found that interesting and uh, I will end it over here.